Hello everyone, I'm I'm Pacific, and welcome back to another vlog where it's gonna be proper. I'm gonna try to keep it uncut, but I am at the two-year mark on making YouTube videos, and I know some of you may know this. If you go to my channel and you see, oh, it was made on July 2nd. What's going on here? Well, I originally had another channel, and I acted super fake on it and I learned a lot of lessons from that channel a lot of lessons I call this is really June was the extreme month of learning for me the first June 15th was like the end uh, the learning experience of YouTube for me that's when I started figuring out how to juggle it with school and all my other events and I started series I actually double uploaded about my first I think two weeks of being on YouTube which was crazy and what I was doing with my videos I was surprised I even managed to double upload because I was typing in text boxes I wasn't even doing commentary yet eventually I did do commentary but moving on from that June 2nd 2016 up to June 2nd which is today a lot has changed I think the biggest change has probably been the work ethic that I put into my channel as well as the structure of it now obviously I have been doing daily uploads quote unquote I'm, I know I missed a few days but I've been doing at least one or two videos a day for a good almost year it started in August about halfway into August I started doing the daily uploads and then I did double daily uploads and I've got this, I, I kind of keep track of how many videos I upload a month, and I'm roughly in the 45 to 60 a month range now, and that includes the live stream replays, and, you know, I've done so many awesome things on this channel. You know, I've done the Game Dev Tycoon, which was my first really long series that I completed, I think, really long that I completed, yeah. That one was also the one that, got me comfortable with editing myself and listening to myself. I used to think my voice was cringy. Now I'm just like, ha that guy that I'm editing, he's acting dumb or he's acting smart, you know. I completely separate myself from the person when I'm editing. And now I got Oblivion, Oblivion, oh my gosh. I think, you know, that series doesn't get any views because, you know, everyone's seen Oblivion. Oblivion's been out for 12 years now. Of course it's not going to get views. But it's like, I have so much fun with it, and it keeps me kind of grounded in gaming roots, you know? I used to play Oblivion all the time, and kind of reminds me of my younger days as a less professional but better skilled gamer. Trust me, when I was a kid, man, I could play so many games better than I have, for the most part. And then I experimented with custom thumbnails, I obviously developed custom thumbnails within this year, and... I think that's also a big improvement is my thumbnails. I love it now. I like how I can go onto my channel and it looks like I actually care about it, you know? My videos, I could put four I've put 40 hours into a video before and I didn't put a custom thumbnail on it. The video did okay, but if it had a thumbnail, I think it would have done a lot better. And I, when I click on it, I'm like, this is a relic at this point, you know? And now I've been working on kind of experimenting with different montage making techniques. I've been trying to make a Call of Duty montage. I miss those so much. I just miss miss a lot of things, you know. I mean, there's, there's a couple things that I don't miss. I don't miss my commentary that I used to do where it was one straight dialogue of me talking and influxing my voice sometimes. And now... You know, I sit there and I, when I stop talking, I can cut the video up and I'm fine with spending literally an extra five minutes cutting out negative space. It's like one of my seven days to die videos that I made a while ago. I'm not even kidding you. I did not cut them because I was too bored with it. I was like, and it was a cut. I need to not stop talking or else I gotta cut the video. Oh, that's a five second piece of negative space. That's okay. It can stay in. And I only made like my original seven videos. I think I made only one cut. And that was at like a eight minute long stretch of me just digging a ramp or a trench or something. 
So there was that. I, I've met a lot of people. I've introduced a lot of people to the channel. I've grown substantially. You know, 532 subscribers is still a very small channel, right? I don't think I am a big channel at all. But compared to the 100 I had when I started this year, I mean, that's a lot more people, all right? Not only that, but it's a much more active community now. I'm, whenever I upload a video, or if I upload, just not whenever I upload a video, but I get at least a comment a day, and I didn't get that a year ago. And I kind of feel like even though the subscriber count doesn't matter and every once in a while I care about it, I, I do, every once in a while I care about it, it's still like the comments mean more to me. The you guys participating in live streams when you just pop in and say hi and then you're like haha i made it first and then left that's all right you know you guys interact with me and i make your guys' day and i feel like now i i used to think i didn't deserve 100 subscribers but i think now with the amount of improvement i have the 532 that i have i actually think i deserve it not in like oh i'm the best youtuber in the world I deserve these subscribers. It's like, yeah, I put in the work and I can entertain 532 people. Obviously, you guys don't watch every video, you know. And of course, this year I had the video that got like 13,000 views. It was crazy. And now we're pretty much led up to here where I have a crazy schedule and my channel is actually treated more of like a TV channel if you think about it. Just like the show wise and I absolutely love it and I've gained so many skills that I'm now starting to apply to real life like my new job the social interaction I must do at that job is way better than it is if I didn't do YouTube so I'm like if I had to stop right now I have already gained skills from it and not talent right a lot of people go on this website because they have talent right? Me, I started because I had a little bit of gaming talent and a little bit of talking talent. Actually, no, I had a little bit of gaming talent. My talking skill, I, I learned. My gaming skill, I started learning. And my talking gaming skill, I developed through YouTube, you know? I feel personally like I don't deserve 100,000 people watching. 10,000 Maybe, right? But I don't think I'm at the level yet where I need to have 100,000 people watching me, a million people watching me, because my channel is just not there yet. And I'm okay saying that because I'm putting in hard work. I'm, I'm gaining skills to, why are all my videos demonetized? But eh, who cares about that? Um, it's past videos, you know? And I think that the 532 I have right now, I think I've, rightfully earned those people. I don't deserve anybody because I haven't changed anyone's lives, I don't think. But I think that the amount of work I've put into my channel, I've earned that title of having a channel of over 500 people. And I don't go up to people um, in real life and they're like, hey, you do YouTube? And I don't really like to answer their question of how many subscribers do you have. Of course I answer it, but I'm more of like, they're like, what do you do? I'm like, well, I do gaming and I, I try to be funny, you know? And then they go, and then I try to egg them on so they learn about my content and they don't really learn about my subscriber count. It's very, very weird, my interactions with people, but this is the two year mark. I don't want to, I don't really want to put anything up today other than this vlog because it's, it's a special, special day for me. It's very, very special. Like two years, I feel pretty good about doing YouTube for two years. I'm almost out of school too. Like I've been doing it for for a while now. So uh, yeah, I don't know what to say after this. It's just two years. It's It's starting to really dawn on me how long I've been doing this and how much better I am at just making videos, editing them, 
you know, being a live streamer. I think personally, I'm a better live streamer than I am a video maker. Um, which is kind of ironic because I haven't done a lot of live streaming. But when I record, I kind of act like I'm live streaming. So, you know, and when I finally do hit the point where I've earned enough people to where I don't have to work anymore, I can just work on my YouTube channel, I think that that'll probably be the next turning point, hopefully for the good, but until then, I'm just going to try to work my hardest at it, because it's... It's a great kind of purpose for life, almost. When I Before I started the YouTube channel, I would come home and just want to play video games. Now, I'm willing to sacrifice a little bit of my grades to make sure that I get the proper YouTube video done. I actually just did that on a history paper. I got, like... I got like an 80 or an 85 on it when I could have gotten a 100, but I needed to make the video. In fact, I made the video first and then wrote the paper. So I'm really happy with where I'm at. I hope you guys are happy with where I'm at. If you want to suggest games for me to play, I'm totally open. If you have criticisms of me, something that you think I'm not good at, if something there's something you think I'm good at, you can tell me that. I'm totally open to that. I think... That sets me apart from a lot of other people, is that I am more open to hate and criticism than a lot of other people, even those who say they are. Because I can pay attention to some people, and they either don't reply to those comments, or those comments disappear after a while. So that's it for this vlog. Thank you guys for watching. Even if this is your first one, even if this is your 700th video, even though I haven't made those yet. You know, if you've been sticking around for two years, a year, six months, a day, less than a day, less than a minute, you just subscribed because of you skipped to this part of the video, hey, welcome aboard. Hopefully this year, this year I'm going to do a lot more focus on, I uh, think I do need to set a goal. I've, I set my yearly goal of uploading videos, but I think... In terms of quality, I think this year I want to focus on not releasing the video until I think it's good. I think that I might almost cut back a little bit so that I can put more time into videos that I think could do much better. Because, yeah, I can upload two videos. If I cut one video out, and spread that time around to videos that I think could perform better, I might just do that. Because it's my channel. And I really feel like I can do whatever I want with it. I'm on Pacific. See you guys in the next episode or stream or whatever I decide to make. And, uh, yeah, let's do this for hopefully another good 40 years. However, however long it takes me until I get bored of this and it's not challenging anymore. I guess. Bye.